I want to talk about Fortinet. And so I was at Accelerate this year, um, just this week. It was in Las Vegas, two and a half days. And, you know, I can't wait to go back for Dell Tech World in May and another five or six times in June and July. <laughs> but um, I tell you what, you know, Fortinet, I've been, I've been um, speaking with them for, for a number of years now. And they've really um, pulled together what I believe is sort of a unique market position. So they are very focused on what they like to call secure networking. Everyone is converging networking and security. But um, the way that they're doing it is with through a single fabric called 40OS that manages both security and network functions. And what the company is also doing is leaning into custom silicon. They have what they call security processing units, SPUs. In NPUs, networking processing units, and they're and, and by the way, that is not just top of stack. That is that that custom silicon spans the depth and breadth of its portfolios and, and and products, and and so it's sort of like a platform approach, like we've heard from from Nvidia, right? It's Nvidia is no longer GPUs. They're curating large language models. They're providing acceleration software and bringing that all together in an ecosystem. So. What I like about Fortinet, and I sat through some of the sessions, you know, they're they're really known for their firewalls. And so what they've done is they sort of developed a Swiss Army knife approach where they're embedding a lot of different functionality that you can unlock. Like you can use one of their their uh, firewall uh, products to um, to facilitate SD WAN and SASE services, as an example. So, and then again, it's all managed through sort of a single fabric. So. Um, it's quite compelling, and, and apparently they're they're disrupting the market. They're taking share away from some larger players, and they're doing that at, at, at sort of a value price point. And you know, a lot of you know, we've had opportunities to speak with with, with Ken, the CEO there, and really ask him about like you know, you could probably command a little more premium and take a little bit more margin. And so it's likely a, a market penetration strategy. I mean, the company is about six billion dollars in top line revenue, and when you compare that to like the Cisco's and you know the HPE Aruba's and eventually the combination of Juniper, um, they're still relatively a smaller player, but they're they're definitely um, you know they're they're definitely vying for uh, for market share there. And I know Matt, you and I sort of split security duties. What what do you think about this? Is it is it compelling to you? You had me at SPU. Um, um can you that spu is that like specific silicon designed um for like as a control plane for their security um platform do you know or do you know what that that is that really it really it did stick out in my brain when you mentioned that it is yeah you were oh excellent okay yeah you know it, it's funny yeah it, it is and it, and I actually, yeah. go for it. We're no, having some internet ahead. issues. <laughs> go ahead, you're good. No, I was just saying it, it is. It, it's 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 yeah. It's that, and yeah. Um, and I did share some some insights over over Twitter or X uh, this week uh, with respect to like a deeper dive on on exactly the the capability and the functionality. But uh, it's exactly what you just described. I like it. I like a grounds up approach to designing a security framework. Um, you know, everything is 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 uh, penetrable unless you go to the you know the deepest levels possible. So I, I love the idea that they're kind of building this in at the at the silicon level and then building everything on top of that. I'm always curious. Um, and Fortinet has a great reputation and has really kind of built a a strong market position. And as you mentioned, the um, the Cisco's and the HPEs. I also wonder about the you know the kind of coming in from the other side, the Palo Altos and the you know the other big monsters. And I don't mean that in a negative, but um, you know the really big companies yeah. that also are and how this market's going to eventually converge, um, you know, or consolidate is probably a better word, and where the players like a Fortinet end up kind of standing at the end of the day it seems like this is a market that is just ripe for consolidation there are what 1500 plus companies out there right um and their their, their position in their technology is validated the question is like yeah you know, how do you how do you kind of it anyway you get where i'm going 
Yeah, you know, I do. And what's interesting when you look at the market, yeah. go for it, Paul. I said, I think they're doing something right. I think they're in uh, one of the uh, Gardner leader groups uh, quadrants. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah, they are. And, you know, I was just going to say that when you, when you, Sort of look at the, I mean, you got, you know, four or five tremendously from that 